hello friends welcome to instrumentation triple e tutorials and this video will be very useful for newcomer as well as some experienced person who wants to know what is the instrumentations maintenance what are the documentations and what are the planning so this basic course is designed for all the informations at our one place where we will cover all the things in 15 parts so this video will be very very useful for planning purpose maintenance purpose as well as documentations purpose so now let us start what we will have in this course so this is the, our content of all the 15 videos part where we will talk about in 18 topics which are very very relevant to all the person all the instrumentations guys who can learn and who can gain knowledge so one by one in our first topic is definition of an objective of the instrumentation in refinery and and power plant and oil and gas sector pharma sector and energy sector where you are working everything will be given and we will talk about instrumentation related things and also we will talk about the component of the instrumentations or we will also talk about the field instrumentation where we will talk about the flow measurement pressure measurement temperature measurement as well as level measurement and some other things also we will cover so all the types of instruments used in our refinery and oil gas sector we will cover here a fourth uh, point is analytic instrumentation which is very very useful for analyzing the final product of our uh, refinery and as well as some other places where an analyzer is very very important like pharmaceutical and uh, this is the final control element control walls and its accessories including positioner sob efr and uh, some other also we will cover in this course now the sixth point is vibration monitoring system instrumentation field if you are working in this field then vibration is very very important and vibration monitoring system includes some speed measurement and what are the systems and how it works we will briefly and talk about in um, point number six now the next point is is the heart of the any instrumentation systems which is plc and dcs it is also installed for controlling everything in the plant so control system is very very important plc and dcs we will talk about what are the plc what is the dcs and how these two are different from each other and also how they work combinedly so this is the seventh point now the eighth point is very important for lab and workshop facilities lab and workshop facilities we are calibrations uh, some instrument checking and also some walls analyzer everything can be capped and where they can troubleshoot and they can check whether they are working okay or not so the lab and workshop facility is also equally important as we have discussed till the point seven now the ninth point is communication protocols means it is also very important and it is related to the plc and dcs some plc doesn't actually uh, work for some communication protocols and some plc and dcs work for other communication protocols so it can be combinedly study and combinedly talk about what are the communication protocols are available in market and instrumentation field so these are the nine point now the 10 point where we will talk about the safety system safety instrumentation system detectors or fire and gas system also uh, coming picture whenever it, there is any fire or some small or big fire so fire and gas systems also help so these are the safety systems now the 11th point is very important for project document when you are going to install new plant new unit then you would require some project uh, documents which are very very important uh, we can say for example cable schedule and also panel schedule, JV schedule, and uh, instrumentation hookup diagram, and instrumentation database, point database, and also some others configuration diagram and data sheets. So these are the some document, and uh, we will talk about more other document also. And uh, some maintenance daily routine and maintenance is also very very important after the project. 
you uh, have to run the plant normally so you would require some uh, maintenance because in our daily routine some um, instrument may have issue so those issue you have to rectify and uh, those uh, issue you can also rectify before uh, the instrument can malfunction so these are the types of maintenance which we will cover here 13 point is uh, hazardous area classification and it will be uh, useful if you are working in a hazardous area where any substance can present and if it will come contact with the air and uh, source means heat then maybe the cause of the blast or it may ignite the uh, fire so these are the hazardous area classifications uh, we will talk about in our uh, content so instrumentation standard list also very important for example isa and iec these are the internationally uh, standard which we should know if you are we are working in our instrumentation field now some uh, advanced digital technology also have come so we have to also talk about what are the digital advanced technology are available in instrumentation field and also how we can use this technology in our units so this is the things which we will cover here and the 16 point instrumentation certification and courses if you want to enhance your knowledge then you would require some courses to join you know as well as after completion of that course you can get the certification so we we will also talk about all the certifications available in market which you should do or you should work for it so now 17 point instrument selection guidelines where we will talk about four to five instrument selection guideline what are the criteria which we follow for a uh, different type of selection of the instruments and the eighth cycle is very important for those who are working in planning section as an instrumentation engineer so where we will talk about the procurement and the planning sections so there are some instruments which are working in field and we have to procure and we have to maintain the small number of the spare list so that whenever there is any instrument got faulty we can replace it so this comes under the planning and procurement section so these are the 18 parts which we will cover in our 15th parts so in our next few days we will upload 15 video for related to all the 18 parts and we will have a knowledge of all the 18 parts and uh, so this is our video and if you are new on our youtube channel then please subscribe and comment if you want some other informations and also like this video and thank you very much for watching this video till the end